So, I am unboxing my new dot matrix printer today. Well, I guess I say new, but it's really not. I also don't think this is its actual box. This is a uh, box for an HP printer, and it uh, says desk jet and all this other stuff, which uh, I know is not this. So I got this printer for ten dollars at a oh Jesus for uh, ten dollars. I guess I'm not repacking it at a local flea market. I uh, I noticed it sitting there. I noticed the name was like oh man. I've heard of that brand. That's a Matrix printer brand. And decided to see how much they want for it. So I walk up to the woman and I go, Hey there, I was just wondering, how much are you asking for the old beige printer over there? I need something to uh, print homework assignments. And she goes, I don't know, 10 bucks? And uh, I had to make sure to uh, not look shocked. Um, as 10 minutes earlier, I had Googled this model printer online and seen them for 80 to a hundred dollars. There we go. The Oki Data, uh, Oki Data, I guess. Yeah. Um, U92 Microline. I mean, there we go. Proper brightness on that. It's actually in beautiful looking condition. Like the overall case and everything, it doesn't look damaged. I mean, there's a couple pellets on there from, uh, me just taking it out of the box. This cover had been removed when, uh, it was sitting there. But obviously it could be quickly replaced. All the instructions actually appear to be uh, on here, which is nice. But yeah, I mean, like, overall, this thing almost looks brand new. Looks like it was never used. Um, or I guess if it was, it wasn't just left out in the dust and whatnot, which is much, 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 much appreciated by me. Um, now this is going to be a bit of a learning experience uh, for me. So for any of you who are completely new to dot matrix printers, this is uh, you're going to be going through this with me. Um, I've never, never personally used one myself, but I am extremely excited to. I guess my first step um, is going to be finding some paper. So uh, we're going to have to go do some searching on uh, maybe some eBay or Craigslist and see what we can find. I don't even know, would Amazon sell like a uh, printer paper for this? Oh, still got the old fuse on the back and stuff. Let's see. Oh, it has a model number back there. Let me spin this around. I apologize. I'm filming with one hand. Flip this up on end. Compatible. Wait, what does that say? IBM compatible graphics printer. Wow, still got the original sticker. There's the connectivity port. Got this nice chunky switch. That's pretty nice. Power cable. Oh, there's the date code too. So, this printer was made in September of 1984. Serial number 299295. It's a 5232G Microline 92. Cool stuff. Still got all the stickers on the bottom and stuff. Man, this thing's in beautiful condition, honestly. Made in Japan. That looks like a fan on the bottom. A slot down there, not sure what that's for. Another, it looks like a Molex connector maybe on this side? I don't know. Three pin connector of some sort, maybe for power. Wow, oh, you can see all the uh, resistors and capacitors and stuff in there. From At the very least, from the three capacitors I can see, none of those look blown. This thing actually looks kind of bad. This resistor, right? Let me zoom in. This thing kind of looks covered in white stuff, which is concerning to me. I'm guessing I should probably... Looks like this case just opens up with these two uh, little clasps there, so I'm, I'm guessing I should probably crack this thing open and look over all the electronics before plugging it in or powering it on because from the looks of it it hasn't been powered on in quite a long time like if you look at this this is actually styrofoam pellets that have adhered to the power cable which makes me think this thing maybe hasn't been turned on in like oh geez in like a number of years like it makes me think that someone Use this printer for a little while and then has just left it in its box. Or in, in sorry, not its box, but. <laughs> left it in this box for forever. So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to see uh, if I can get it up and running and everything. This is gonna be an adventure. So, now, my prevailing theory this is a HP LaserJet 4ML printer. You can see it was ordered from. Uh, or shipped to Office Depot over on Ford Street in Detroit. Uh, 18 pounds. Does it have a date on it? Um, for delivery, 48228. Some reference numbers. Dang, I don't see any delivery uh, delivery date. But my prevailing theory is that um, 
someone ordered a new HP printer and in doing so decided it was finally time to uh, to kind of retire their old uh, dot matrix printer which if so is amazing to me because that means this thing had possibly been sitting in this box for 15 to 20 years depending on when this HP printer is from so I'm gonna see if I can get a year on this based on the model and everything um, it still looks pretty pretty 90s to me so if this thing has really just been sitting in a box unused since the 1990s this could be beautiful condition printer we'll uh, we'll see uh, so yeah stay tuned for part two when I order some paper and start checking over the electronics in this thing